Aiden from Be In Touch here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our document library. All right, it's a very simple tool, uh, yet a very important and very effective one. It's essentially for sharing, creating, uh, uploading document templates and form templates that can be shared throughout your office. So if there's a specific uh, flyer that you want to go out, that you want everyone in your office to use, you'll be able to upload that into the document library, giving everyone in your office access to, giving all your loan officers access to this flyer that they can then send out to potential borrowers, past borrowers, and borrowers, and same with document templates. If there's a certain document you want each loan officer in your office to use, you can upload these templates into the document library as well. So we're going to find the document library within our marketing tab, and then you will see Docs Library here. If you do not see this, uh, either in your Marketing tab or in your Modules tab here, uh, you're either going to want to reach out to your account admin, and if you are an account admin, just submit a support ticket and they'll get it taken care of for you. All right, once that's there, we're going to go into our Docs Library. It's set up very simply. There's a few different elements here. Uh, you'll see this first one here, or oh, here's all the documents we have first, okay? And then you'll see up here, we actually have tabs. So you can organize your documents into different sections, different genres or categories, if you will, depending on what they're for, right? So you'll see here we have one for our realtors. We have another tab here for our loan officers. This one is just to upload, you know, general documents. Um, and then you'll see here there's an add a new tab. So we can actually add as many tabs as we need to fit any style of document we're going to be uploading into here. So we're going to go ahead and add a new tab, show you how easy that is to do. And we'll say this one is for our borrowers. Okay, potential borrowers, whatever you want it to be. Again, you can you can customize and organize this however you like. There you go. We've added borrowers here. And then now we can simply add a template uh, or a flyer, or whatever it is, into this document library. All right. So let's show you how we can actually upload something real quick, and then we'll go into all the other little features of the document library as well. Again, straightforward, but really important, especially if you're in a large office. So let's say we are working on a mortgage document here. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's say we put in a uh, meta tag here. Okay, we're going to have a signature space, a date space, and again, this will also be able to use with our eSign tool if you guys have not checked that out yet either. Uh, that'll be a walkthrough for that in our YouTube channel as well. It's just search eSign, be in touch. Uh, so let's say we have this document. Again, it's going to be whatever you guys want it to be, and we want everyone in the office to use this document. We're going to go ahead and save it to our computer, okay? If you're using Google Docs, you're going to want to save it as a Word doc. If you're, if you're using Microsoft Word, you can just go ahead and save it. All right, so you'll see it's down here. Mortgage doc template. We're going to go ahead and add this template. Again, it's just like uploading anything you've ever done online. There it is right there, the mortgage doc template. Okay, you'll see, make sure this is the right thing here. Uh, you can put an input a name of the template. So if you wanted to rename it something different, than this if you don't want that doc x so we'll just just to clean it up we'll just do mortgage doc template because we don't want that dot doc x in there we'll go ahead and save it and that should go ahead and re upload right in there yeah, there you go see and now we don't have that doc x if you just upload a document straight up it's going to show exactly how it's saved in your computer so you can add a name of it there again just to keep things clean and organized and simple okay and then if you hover over you'll see you have the option to print the document. So if you wanted to hand it off to a borrower, print out a bunch of different flyers and put them up or send them out, you'll be able to do that as well. Uh, you see here, this is a uh, moving from section to section. So if you wanted, you know, if this realtor uh, flyer, you uploaded into the wrong tab or you wanted to change it to a different tab, maybe you, you're splitting one of your tabs into two to make them more specific because there's a lot of documents that have been building up. You have the ability to do that with this little folder icon here. You have the ability to download the document. Okay, so you'll see there you go. We have our mortgage notice right there. And then you can trash the document. Okay, you can actually you can delete things in here as well. Let's say, oh, look at these two. These are duplicates of the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that document. And there it goes. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, you can also search documents in here if you'd like. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do We'll just type in bank. 
Okay, there you go. Our bank statements will come up. Uh, so you can actually, let's say you have hundreds of these in here, you're going to want to find something quickly. You can search for documents as well. All right. You'll see down here at the bottom, it will split into different pages as you start to get a lot of documents in here. So this search tool is going to come in very much handy when you are trying to find something specific very quickly. Okay. So there it is. That's the docs library. Again, if you don't see this, just submit a support ticket or reach out to your admin. They'll get it. They'll get it implemented for you guys. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, you're going to want to use uh, Word doc, the, the dot, dot, dot X file if you can. That's going to give you the least amount of problems, no matter what you're doing. And uh, yeah, go ahead and close those loans, guys. Have a good one. We'll, we'll talk to you in the next one.